fifth graders. Um, we're going to talk about the next project in your Shark Tank thing, and that's going to be make business cards. The first thing we want to talk about um, what business cards are, and they're used to give basic information to your customers. And I want you to pause this video now, take a second to talk to your group about what type of information should be on business cards. So go ahead, pause the video, have a quick discussion, and come back and hit play. Hopefully your discussion included some of these things. Your business cards can have your name, your business name, your contact information, such as a phone number, website, email, fax number, social media pages like Facebook, Twitter, and a bit your business logo that of course you guys have already designed. For this fifth grade project, this is what I want you to include right here, slide five. Um, I want you to include your name, your business name, your contact information, but you guys are just gonna include two things. You're gonna include your St. Paul email address and the St. Paul phone number. And of course, you're gonna include your business logo. And before you begin, you might wanna do a quick Google search of what certain business cards look like to give you an idea before you get started. The steps you're gonna work on are here on slide six. So someone should have this open on their computer or all of you. You're gonna download your logo as a JPEG. Let's go do that. I pulled up a sample logo here. Um, hold on, Alt, Shift. There we go. Um, the Magnum Board Company. And to download it, you're gonna to go to File, Download As, and you're gonna choose JPEG. And it's gonna prompt you to store it in your drive and go ahead and do that. And I want, um, only one person has to do this and they should share it in that shared folder that we've already created for everyone. And that one, everyone will have access to that JPEG. Actually, let me go do that again because I didn't click it right. All right, so Magnum Board logo. Okay, so that's step one. Let's go back and read what step two is. All right, whoops, wrong tab. All right, here we go. One person opens the Google Drawing, we did all these. Click the file, click Download As, choose JPEG. Put the JPEG in your shared business folder. You're gonna design one business card on the Google Slides template I sent you. Each person's gonna be on their own slide. And then you're gonna group your objects together and then copy and paste them into all the business card slots. So let's go look at that. This is the template that I've given you. You can tell that one slide is one, two, three, four, five, ten business cards. So each person in the group, the first thing you guys are going to do is duplicate these sides. So right click, duplicate. And there I have enough for two people. Right click, duplicate. And you know, you have anywhere from five to six people in your group. Inside of one of these tiny squares is where you're going to design your business card. Let's first insert an image, our logo. I'm going to go find that in Drive in that shared folder that we've downloaded as a JPEG. You can see it comes in really big, so I'm going to shrink it. Whoops. By dragging a corner and shrinking it down. There we go. And if I want to, let me scroll up here. If you double click on the image, you can get these cropping lines to make it so that we're just grabbing what we need. There we go. And I'm going to put that in my upper left part of my card, I think. Actually, I don't know. I might put it there. Now, in a normal business, everyone's cards would look the same. But since we're in fifth grade and we want to have a little fun, it's okay if the first person in your group decides to put the logo here and the second person decides to put it on the right and someone puts it in the middle. Um, but I want you to know in a real business, everyone's business cards would look the same but we're gonna go ahead and have some fun with it. 
the next thing you need to do is make a text box where you're going to put your information. I said to put your, stretch this out a little bit. Your email address. Whoops. And you can play around with the font and size. And I said to use the St. Paul phone number. Um, you can play around with color. I know you guys will get creative, but to not take up any more of our time, I'm gonna keep mine pretty simple here. Let me shrink this so it fits on one line. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna move, I'm actually gonna put this down to the bottom. There we go. I don't know, it's a pretty plain business card. I'd probably wanna add some color and do some different things, but I'm gonna move on for now. To group these, you're gonna click, um, you're gonna hold control down and click all of your things on your business card and see how they're all selected. So what I did was hold control, click, click, then right click, whoops, let's try that again. Control, click, click, right click, and group these together. And what I can do now is copy it. The whole thing is acting as one image and I can paste it. And now I can drag it to my second business card. And I am gonna make it so that you each need to have 10 of the same business card. Um, so you're gonna paste, paste, paste all the way down. What can be different is my business card can be different than another group member's business card, but of course it has to have your logo. And let's go back to this. Once everyone has all of their business cards in their slides, um, that'll be the next thing that I assess and you can get approved on your um, progress sheet. Okay, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.